Hi guys, it's Nikki. I am going to do a get ready for the day with me video. So the first thing I'm going to do is put you guys in my phone holder stand. And I'm going to get ready for the day. I'm going to wear these pants. Oh, wait a minute. These are also pants. Huh. Okay, change of plans. We have a new... Okay, I'm going to wear these blue pants. And this blue hoodie. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my pants. Okay, pants are on, but I'm not showing you me just yet.
Okay. I'm wearing the pants I told you guys that I was gonna wear today. That's these that I have on. I'm wearing this shirt. It says, I love someone. with autism. Next, I'm going to get my sweater, which is right here. It's a hoodie. And I'm going to put it on. So I'm going to scoot you guys back so you guys can see. Okay, what, so how I like to do is this is I hold it up. I flip it onto my lap. I pull it towards me. Next, I'm going to put my head in and pull my head through. So my arms are right here, as you can see. I don't have it all the way on yet. And then I st stick one arm in, pull that hand through, put my other arm in, Pull that hand through, and then I grab it right here, and I pull it down, and then I take the hood off, and I am dressed for the day. Now I need some socks and I have none in in this drawer here. Which that's my clean sock drawer. So, in order to find a pair of socks, we're going to come out here to my pile of laundry that I washed and try and find some socks that I can wear today. So while we're looking, we're going to throw the clean stuff back in the basket. And if we find a sock, we're going to set it aside. That way I can try and make my socks and have some clean socks.
Now I'm gonna pull some stuff towards me so I don't have to reach so far. So far, these are all the socks I've found so far. Plus two in the bathroom that had to dry. Because my laundry wasn't dried all the way. And I didn't have any more money on my app that I use to do my laundry. So, when laundry costs money to do, you can't really dry it more if you don't have money on your cart, on your app. Because no money equals no drying or washing. But I had enough to wash the stuff. And I had so much laundry I needed to do that I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it done. And I was able to use a friend's laundry ca card to dry my clothes. Just one load didn't finish. Drying. So as you can see, as you can see, I had plenty of laundry to do. It was four loads. This is only part of it. Okay, now we're gonna continue with putting the laundry back in the baskets. So I can make some socks. So I'll have socks to wear again. Which that'll be nice. I can't wait to have clean socks. That's going to be so exciting. The main reason I did so much laundry in one go, instead of just doing two loads and waiting on the other two, is because I didn't want to go all through go through all this just to find the socks before I washed it. Because I really wanted clean socks. That's also why I'm going through this stuff one item at a time. And oops, there we go. 
picking up the clothes. I still have all this left to go through. And make sure there's no more socks. That's why I'm going one item. At a time. Instead of just picking this whole mess up right here. Because going one item at a time, I can make sure I don't miss any socks. So I can make my socks. All right. Here is our pile of socks. Now, since you guys are nice and low, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my socks. I pick up a sock, I look at it, and I set it on my lap. I feel for another sock that feels like that, I pick it up, I look at it, and I think to myself, okay, does that sock match that sock? No. So I lay that sock on my lap. And then I grab another sock that feels like that sock. Does that sock ma match either of the other two socks I have out? No. So I set that one on my lap. Then I grab another sock and think, okay, does this one match any of the stuff I have out? And yes, it does. So then I have my first pair of socks. And these are a pair. So what I do is I go like that to meet them. So there's our first pair of mated socks. Okay, so then we'll put that in the basket. And we'll bring this other green one over here. And I'll grab another sock that's soft. And that one obviously doesn't match. So we'll set that one aside. And we'll grab another one. Okay, this one matches something. The first sock. So we'll grab both of those. And those are now a pair. So, like I did last time, I'll use my hand and make it like a little finger mitt. To, um... Meet the socks. And then I'll grab another sock. And that matches my green, my other green sock. So those are a pair now. Okay, here's this pair. So we'll set those in the basket, mated, of course.
And when I was looking for that sock, I came across a pair of socks. But I didn't want to grab them at the time because I was, here we go, looking for a certain sock. So these are a pair of socks. There's two socks here. See? So we're gonna mate those and put those in the basket. And then we're just gonna set, grab and set a few socks on my lap. And if we find the mates, cool. If not, well, they'll just have to wait for the socks that aren't mated. We'll just have to wait for another day. If I have more laundry. Okay, I think these two are a match. They're, they're like this. And there's two of them. See, I'm holding on to one in each hand. There's one, and there's two. So we're gonna make these together. And set them. in the basket. Okay, now I just picked up this one because it's a mate to another sock I have, which is on my lap. So, here's the socks. Sock one, sock two. And we're just gonna mate them, take them off our hand. Actually, these would be a perfect sock to wear today because they're blue, like my out outfit. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, these aren't the same, okay. I thought I had a mated pair, but I didn't. Okay, I've got a pair. I have two, one, two socks here that match. So I'm gonna meet them and put these in the basket. Here's another pair of socks. So we're gonna make those, put them in the basket. Okay, we're almost done mating our socks. And then once we're done, 
I'm going to grab a pair of socks and put them on my feet. Okay, we have three socks that we don't have mates for. So we're just going to pop them right there. Because I'm going to grab this one, this tie-dye blue one. And we're gonna go get my other tie-dye blue one, or I am. I'll be right back, and then I'm gonna put socks on. Oh, there's another sock. I was sitting on it. I found another pair of socks, so we're going to make those and set them on the basket, and then we're going to see if the two white socks that I have match, and they do. So we're going to make these and put them on the basket. Now. I am going to pull up my sweats and put on my socks. Okay, I have my sock partially on. So now I lift my foot up. And I pull it the rest of the way on. And then I start pulling it up my leg because it is a longer sock. It goes all the way up to here, which is almost to my knee. And then I'm going to pull these down. There. That side is done. Okay. Now, we're going to grab our other sock and put it next to me. And I am pulling my pants up like my leg. See? Bare skin. Not pants. Okay. And then I kind of lift my foot onto my other ankle and I just start pulling these on. So they're like this, and then I straighten that leg and pull it over the heel of my foot.
like that. And once I'm to this point, I start pulling them up my leg, like so. And now that these are on, I can start pulling these down. What's your deal? You don't have to do it right on my tail. I will take you out in two minutes when I get the shoes on my feet. I'm not taking you out barefoot. Good grief. Okay. Now, I'm gonna grab my right shoe. I'm gonna lower you guys more so you can see what I do here. Okay. Here's my foot. I'm gonna grab my shoe, slide it over my foot, as much as I can get my foot in there, I'll, I'll do so. And then I stick my finger in the back, slide my foot in, and pull the shoe up at the same time to get them on. Now, for this foot right here, we're gonna repeat that process. Okay, sh shoes going on. Stick my finger in. Here, let's see if I can turn and give you guys a better view. I am taking my finger into the top of the shoe here, bringing, uh, bringing it around back. And getting my shoe on. Now I'm putting on my Apple Watch. Okay, putting my phone in the pocket, grabbing my brush, and we're going to brush our hair real quick. We're not going to do a super awesome job, we're just going to run it through quick. Murphy, get up here and lay down. I'll take you out in a minute. Lay down or you're going in your kennel.
Thank you. This is how I brush through my hair, is I start down low, and I work my way high. Okay, I have a knot. Ouch! That, that hurt. Okay. I'm just trying to hurry because I know Murphy wants to go to OUT. Okay, we don't need you quite that high. We'll do right here. Okay, so this is, so I'm just quickly brushing it and putting it back up. I'm not doing no special hairdos besides a ponytail right now. Okay, I have my hair in my hand, and I just grabbed my hair tie, and I'll go around once, and twist it twice, and twist it three times, and twist it, and four times, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hair in two halves and just pull to make it nice and tight. Now I'm going to take you guys off here. And we're going to end the video because I'm going to take my dog out. Oh, I need to tie my shoe. How I tie my shoe is I grab my laces, I have one in each hand, and I'm going to crisscross them go under the first, the front one, pull tight, make like a little bunny ear. Go around it, go under what that created, the other lace, and pull it tight so I have two little bunny ears. And then I'm gonna use the two bunny ears and tie it a second time. Bye guys.